All right, so we are past midnight, and this is the best time to change the flush valve, otherwise known as flapper valve. In Spanish, we call this the toad valve. So first, we're going to take this out, and let's check what's what's in here. Okay. Okay. So what you see here, that red thing, is the flush valve, the flapper valve, and that is the one that's failing. If you constantly hear uh, that your toilet is passing water, it's most probably because that, that valve uh, is bad. This bottle, I, I place it here just to save some water. With this I'm saving almost half a liter of water in each flush. Okay, so let's fix this. First we're going to flush the toilet. Uh, you know what? I'm feeling like having a shit, so so I'm going to use this water to flush the toilet. Just a sec. Alright, perfect. Uh, right now it's not filling up because I had closed the the water supply. Just remember to, to always close the, the water supply, okay? So now what we're gonna do is to, as you can see, this, this valve has two little legs that attach it to this shaft. This is also part of the drainage. There is supposed to be this this hose attaches here and attaches to this to this to this valve. So we're going to remove it. If I can fit my my hand in here, there you go. Just find a way to take it off. That's it. And remove the chain from the from the lever that that opens the valve. So this is the valve and as you can see it's quite old and it's not sealing properly. So what we're going to do now the, the, the plastic, the rubber it's giving off a little bit. It's kind of... It doesn't seal properly. So yeah, we will have to change it. Yeah. Well, after checking it up, I guess this valve is, is working fine. It was just a little bit misaligned. Yeah, I guess it's working properly, so I guess we're not having a tutorial today. I already bought the replacement. A cheaper one, of course, because that valve is really good. It's a uh, what's the brand? Fluid Master. Yeah, that's a really good flapper valve. This one is a, uh, a really cheap one. But yeah, I guess it's not failing. It's just it was a little bit misaligned. You you see how it has a little bit of play. But after adjusting it a, a little bit, because you know in in, in this one. <coughs> You can adjust the amount of of water you want to flush and it's like in an angle. So after adjusting it a little bit, I was able to make it work by setting it in a lower flow for each flush and now it's working fine. So yeah, I think that's better because I will I will waste 
even less water in each flush. So I'm going to keep testing it with the, with the uses of course and I guess if there is something if there is something wrong and I need to, to replace it then there is going to be a tutorial but for now I think it's not needed alright so we just set it up there and yeah yeah sometimes you just need to give it a little clean and a little adjustment and that's it so maybe in a couple of years I'm going to make that, tut that tutorial but for now we're fine what a waste of time well it seems I didn't test it thoroughly enough because it completely discharged overnight so what we're going to do is to change it with the chip with the chip replacement I got I have yeah I thought this was going to be fine but I guess this has deformed to a certain point that it no longer seals the water so yeah let's, let's test this, the, this chip one we are going to just insert this here in this tube like so oh it's a little bit tight if it's too tight just add a little bit of water and that should make it easier yeah yeah perfect Well, turns out I don't need to insert this in the tube. It's enough if I just insert it like, like, like so. This will depend on, on your particular toilet, how, how it's built. So for this time, just clipping these little knobs into there. And yeah, it should seal. Now, this is really important. The length of this chain should be enough that when you pull the lever, it opens, but it is important that it is not too tight. You need to make it a little bit, a little bit shorter, and this will be accordingly to your, to your toilet. So. Yeah, for this one, it's about that length. So I'm going to place a clip here. And then this over here. This lever has a little hole where you can insert this clip. Just like so. That's right. So when you pull the lever, the flapper valve opens. All right, so, re so let's test it. All right, so for the moment it seems fine. I'm just going to leave it a couple of hours to see if it's, if it's actually working, okay? Voy, espérame que estoy reparando esto. Sometimes this hose is a little bit too hard, so just to make it a little bit more flexible and to fit in, the, in, in that hole, I'm just going to heat it a little bit with, with some fire, with a lighter, and then insert it in the hole. And that's it, I think it's working perfectly. It's a shame because this one is, was a really good flapper bowl. You can see my, my sonar really bite into it, to the package. <laughs>